Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Leo. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for April 1st through the 15th, okay? We're just going to see what comes up. What do we have for Leo for April 1st through the 15th? What do we have for Leo? Keep in mind that the timing is still fluid. What do we have for Leo? Skilled player. We got a skilled player here. Somebody that is very, very skilled at playing games. Liar. Woohoo! Well, this does not look good. We got somebody that is, I don't know, maybe they're a pathological liar. Obviously, we got somebody here that is uh, really good at what they do. Bad timing. Three, three, three. 333 three, three is a number of ascended masters and angels. Your prayers have been heard. This skilled player is going to, uh, well, it looks like they're, they're going to get caught by the looks of things. They haven't gotten caught yet, but they are going to get caught. They absolutely are. They're going to get burned. You can only you can only scam for so long. You're dealing with a scammer of some sort. Hmm. Change is coming though because threes are are change. Okay, they are change. It's about growth working together. You have some sort of protection here. It goes from past to, to, to future. So y your prayers are heard. You're probably waiting for this son of a gun to get caught. It's going to happen. It may not be happening right now, but it is going to happen. Death. Ooh. The end. The end. Now this is a change. It is a major change. It's a profound ending for some sort. I told you it's coming to an end. This person is going down. Okay? They are going down. This player. This player's been getting away with it. But you can't escape. You can't escape. Eventually you get caught is going on here. Knight of Swords reversed. So the Knight of Swords reverses. This is a know-it-all. We have a know-it-all. We have somebody that is out of control, that is insincere. I need to get another card. What is going on with this person? They're out of control. This person is out of control. King of Pentacles. So this, the King of Pentacles is all about money. You're dealing with somebody that is all about money. They're all very focused on their money. Money hungry. Money is more important than anything. This person does not care who they hurt as long as they have money. As long as, as, as they are financially stable. It's all they care about is their money. Definitely. You're dealing with a money hungry individual. This person is going to be experiencing a major ending in their life and, and it's out of control they are out of control this person has let society drive okay something is coming to an end coming to a halt now you could be dealing with a Scorpio you could be dealing with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn or a Libra Gemini Aquarius Scorpio comes out first, though. So I don't know if it's a Scorpio. Whoever you are dealing with is very much focused on money. And it could, it doesn't have to, it could be anybody. It could be a, 
could be a water sign, could be a fire sign, could be anybody. An ending is coming for this person that has played you. Okay? Your prayers are being heard. They have been heard. Ah, happiness. Something about a relationship. This person, well, tens are completions. You may also be getting an offer from somebody because endings lead to new beginnings. You may have an offer coming in from somebody that is stable. This person is a hard worker. They're looking for a relationship. If you get an offer from somebody, you just go slow. Go slow. Don't hurry. It may be bad timing. You... <clears throat> High Priestess reversed. Lack of knowledge. I don't know if you're dealing with somebody by the initials of J and B. Um, doesn't have to be. Um, High Priestess, that's the secret being revealed. Unaware. Somebody has been unaware. They've been hiding something. <coughs> No communication, no communication here as well. We have an individual that in the past they were a player. <clears throat> I've had no problems with my throat. I think this happened last time during your reading as well. I'm not sure. <clears throat> this is the past. We definitely have somebody that hasn't been real, okay? They haven't been real. They haven't been practical. They're really focused on their money. They may have, somebody may have had a relationship that has ended. There's a dishonest, this is a, the Knight of Swords reverse is a, a, untrustworthy individual you may be receiving an offer from somebody that you cannot trust okay I'm just being honest this is a poker face okay it's a poker face if I was you I would be careful I would I would be careful I don't feel like you can trust this person I think they have secrets they have hidden agendas maybe they want your money if you have some money, they may want your money. I think that you need to be very careful. I think that, uh, I think there is somebody coming in that is a skilled player. This is a poker face. This is a poker face. This is a liar. This person may present you with an offer that looks stable. Okay, this person is typically stable. It feels like they're just after money. They are money hungry. You're, you've got a money hungry individual here. You do, and they are very skilled at manipulation. They are. They have a hidden agenda. They may, they may tell you that they want a relationship, that they're looking for a relationship, but I don't think I wouldn't do it if I was you. I'm just saying. I feel like... Um, This person has ex recently experienced a ending in their life. And now they are looking for a relationship with somebody that is financially stable. They're looking for a relationship with... In, well, that, that's what we're looking for, right? We're looking for a relationship for somebody that is, relation, is, is financially stable. But there's this is looking for somebody, you know, that... It feels like they, they can run over because the Knight of Swords is reversed. I feel like there's some secrets here. There's there's lies and you're dealing with a poker face. And I think that you need to look a little bit deeper. I don't think that this is the right time for you to get into a relationship with anybody. Maybe you've had an ending, you know. Um, I just, I think that you need to be careful. I do think that you need to be careful. Whew, High Priestess reversed. Ignoring intuition. Somebody's ignoring their... I think that your intuition may say that something is off, but you may ignore it. 
whoever you're dealing with is not very spiritual. They're more materialistically focused. They're focused on their money or your money, okay? Ah, two of swords in the future. You may, you may need to block somebody. This is denial. It's like you, it's, this is, this is uh, your prayers have been heard. Growth, change, spirit, body, uh, mind, union. Um, together, working together. Somebody wants to work with you and you may be in denial. You may not want to see it because maybe you want a relationship. Isn't that what we all want, right? I want a, I want a stable, solid relationship. That's what I want. Somebody may not may choose to turn a blind eye and not listen to their gut because, oh, I don't want to be alone. Be careful. Judgment reverse. That's lack of truth. You will regret it. You will. I don't know if you're dealing with a Scorpio. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I already said them. Um, could also be dealing with the Pisces. Uh, um, you may need to really open your eyes. Really, really, really open your eyes. Somebody's not telling you the truth. And this may be a lesson you need to learn. Okay? You know, you will wish that you did not get involved with this person. I feel as though, you know, somebody may, and this could be even somebody from your past with judgment reverse. Judgment can be re resemble the past. Somebody may want a reconciliation. You know, they may want a reconciliation with you. May They may want forgiveness. You know, they made a bad choice. You know, they lied to you, whatever. They may say that. They may say they're sorry, you know. Uh, I think that you, you, uh, maybe they, they may say that they got involved with you at the wrong time. You are dealing with a very skilled player who knows how to speak. Okay. I think you are going to be receiving an offer from somebody that has lied to you in the past. They've played you in the past. They have now experienced an ending in their life and they want to have a, a relationship with you. Now, this doesn't have to be an ex-lover. It could be. It could be somebody that just didn't choose you in the past. Whoever this person is, I think that you know who they are and I think that they have lied to you in the past. Okay? Um, listen to your gut. And I don't think that you're going to. I don't think that you're going to. Listen to your intuition. You are dealing with somebody who does not have good intentions. This person is insincere, untrustworthy. The Knight of Swords reverse is an untrustworthy, insincere person that may even have mental health issues. This person is a train wreck. They're not very spiritual. It's not good. I'm just being honest with you. I feel like you, you need to not avoid the truth. Do not avoid the truth. This is avoiding the truth. You know, do not, do not avoid the truth that you know deep inside. You have some sort of inner message telling you that this is not real. I know that you do. I feel like I feel like somebody is going to be asking you for forgiveness. And there's karma here. There is bad karma here. This is a chance for you to move on from that bad choice. 
or repeat the lesson. Do you want to play games? Anyhow, anyhow, see what's happening to me is my voice is it's crazy. Anyhow, um, there's a lack of awareness here. We got somebody here that doesn't want to be alone. So they could make a poor judgment call and avoid the truth that they know inside. I feel as though you have been, some of you may have been praying for something. Maybe you've been praying for an apology or you've been praying for a reconciliation with somebody that played you. Wake up. Well, unless you have still, I mean, this is this is obviously karma, okay? It is. I mean, judgment reverse, that's the, or upright is karma. You are going to be receiving something. You are. Somebody is, is going to be, you know, pursuing you. They want to have a new beginning with you. Could be somebody new, it could be, but it looks like, or this is somebody from your past life karma. This is like past life karma. Could be somebody brand new that you have past life karma with. Obviously, you've been praying because your prayers have been heard. I feel like, but then again, you know, you have to, you have to use discernment. You have to use uh, you have to look. You have to really take your time and look at things. Look at the offers that you are receiving and not rush. And this is don't rush either. There's so many messages here. Don't rush into anything. Anyhow, you're going to be receiving an offer from a player. Okay? And maybe this person played you in a past life. I would say that you need to listen to your gut and not ignore it because I feel like your gut is going to say no. This will not end successfully. This is unfinished business. I think there could definitely be somebody coming back around. This is repeating past mistakes, not learning from mistakes, lack of success, refusing to listen to anyone, Refu refusing to explore new avenues. What you resist persists. You have a cycle that needs to end. This is a lesson not learned. No positive change will come by going backwards. It's time to move forward. You're going to be tested. You are going to be tested. Will you pass or fail? Do you want to repeat the same lesson over again? Somebody may have also received some poor advice. They yeah, have both these cards, poor advice. You know, people receive poor advice from, from other people about fantasy instead of reality. You could be overly reliant on psychics and tarot readers and mediums when you should be listening to your gut. It's time to move on from this player. Don't repeat the same mistakes. Good luck.